Hi, let's see how we can create triggered emails for users who abandon the shopping cart. So, we'll start by creating a new rule. When you create a new rule, it's always a good idea to give it a memorable name. I'll call this one email cart abandon number one. Then I need to select an action for this rule. I click on Select Actions, and under the Cart Abandonment Triggered Email section, I'll choose the Abandoned Cart Emails action. This will open the interface where we have all the pre-populated settings for the rule. Let's see what options are available. The first option is Schedule, and this means how long after a cart has been abandoned should the cart abandonment email be sent. By default, it's set to wait one hour before sending an email. If you are setting up a series of cart abandonment emails, this is where you could set the time delay for each email in the series. The below setting allows you to block users from receiving the same email within the period of time set here. Further below are other basic email settings, such as your from email address. Note that this address is chosen during the configuration and cannot be changed in the interface. Contact us if this needs to be changed. And further below is where you set the subject line for that email. The email content section is where you set the formatting of the email. There is a default template which you can edit visually, or you can open the HTML editor to modify or place your own custom HTML template. Also, if you want to add CSS styles to an email, you can do so by adding a head section to the email and placing your CSS in here. Notice that inside the email content, there are some tokens. These tokens are placeholders for content that will be placed into the email dynamically when it is sent. There are several different tokens with different uses. Note that you can edit the settings for some of the tokens. For example, here we have the email header image token. This token will display a header image that can be uploaded here. This is used as a simple way to customize the template. You can also add unique coupon codes, which we'll go over in another video. Here is a full list of available tokens. Note that the unsubscribe link or unsubscribe URL tokens are mandatory to allow users to opt out of getting the emails. The most significant token is the cart items widget token that will show the actual items that were abandoned in the shopping cart. By default, this token will show an image for each of the abandoned items. You can set the size of the image and spacing between the images. When people click on product images, you can choose if this should bring them to the cart page or the products page. If the link should go to the cart page, you must enter the URL of the cart page to be used. Also, you can customize this further by using the advanced widget, which gives you more tokens and full control over the rendering of the widget. For instance, you can display the product name and price and also control exactly how these are laid out with the HTML. In this section, you place the analytic tracking parameters you would like. These get added to all links in the email, so you don't need to individually add them in the template. Once you're done with these settings, you can send yourself a test email. You can choose how many cart items will be in your test email and press send. This will send you an email with randomly selected products to see the layout. You also have the option to fine-tune email segments. You can choose to segment emails based on cart value. For example, you may choose to send different messages to users depending on how much they have in their shopping cart. Another example is the option to give a promotional offer to people who purchase over a certain value. You can also segment by particular items names in the shopping cart or URLs of products. Once you have this all set up, you can save the rule. Note that when you're creating a series of email, you can easily duplicate a rule and just change the needed settings, such as the time and text as appropriate. Note that each email segment or different email schedule should be its own email rule so for example, you could create one rule with a schedule of one hour after the abandonment, and then you could create a second rule with a schedule of 24 hours, and so on. As an example, I'm duplicating this rule and giving it another name. Now I can change the schedule and adjust the content as needed. Also, you may set up A-B testing to send different versions of the email. To do so, click on the Set Exposure button and choose the Triggered Emails A-B Testing. You can select to have this email sent to either Group A or Group B, so I'll make this one group A. You may now duplicate this rule, change the content as needed, and assign it to group B. This will send 50% of users in the segment version A of the email versus version B to the other 50% of the user segment. 
This allows you to compare which email version is more effective for the given user segment. Note that for consistent results, the actual user segment settings should be the same between A and B versions, so that you're comparing results against the same user segment. I hope this tutorial was helpful. You can always look at our knowledge base for more information on how to set up card abandonment emails. Thanks for watching.